fish. Oh, oh, I did not mean to set the hook that hard. Good morning, guys. TJ from Off The Reel here. Today, we're getting a new fishing setup. I'm gonna try and find something remotely, not like super budget, but something in the mid-tier range. Probably around like $80 from Dick's. I wanna get like a combo around like 80, probably 80, 85 bucks, maybe something like that. There were so many options inside the store. I ended up going with a pretty nice spinning combo. It ended up being $79.99 right out the gate. So we were right on budget. But we're gonna go ahead and get this thing spooled up and go hit the water and see if we can catch some fish with it. There's a fish, let's go. Stay down, stay down. He spit it, I knew it. They are so good at that. Like they have become masters. They're just spitting jigs in general. There's another one. Okay, he's a good, he's a better one. I know I set the hook good on this one. Nah, we're good now, we're good. There we go. Come here, buddy. Probably honestly was the same one. Come on. There we go. He choked it, man. All right, buddy, go get bigger. Awesome. I found this pond on Google Maps uh, a few, a couple of videos back. I'll leave a card to that video in the top right corner. I figured this would be the best spot to come to test out this, uh, this combo. And honestly, to me, I know this is gonna be kind of crazy. This is probably one of the best spinning combos I've gotten for $79, like ever. I used to buy spinning combos a lot for uh, saltwater. That's a good fish. There we go. Oh my gosh. They're killing this, these paddle tail swim baits, man. They're just absolutely wrecking them. He's another little guy. Nice, barely hooked. I'm honestly shocked he didn't throw that hook. These guys are feisty today, they're fired up. Okay, so like I was saying, what's kind of crazy is that for 79 bucks, this thing has 10 ball bearings in it. Normally, anything under 100, you won't have more than six. So the fact that this thing has 10 ball bearings in it is amazing as itself. It's an extremely smooth, like, uh, so, some spinning reels will, they'll have that like kind of kickback. You know what I mean? I, you kind of just have to feel some reels, but you'll reel and then there'll be some play that you can go backwards with. Like it'll almost like kind of click. This one has none of that. There's no play. Super, super smooth. The drag is insanely smooth. Sounds great. Honestly, for 79 bucks, you honestly just can't beat this. Cast's really nice too. So the name of this combo, it's a Fluger President rod and reel combo. The rod itself is also a Fluger President. This one specifically is six foot medium action. It's insanely light too, like, and it, it casts so, so accurately. That's a fish. Come on, eat it. There he is. There we go. He's another little guy, seems like. Yep. Another little pounder, if that, half a pounder. <laughs> Oh, 
There we go. Oh, wow. He's got something wrong with him right here. Ooh, that does not look good. Well, hopefully you uh, recover from that, dude. Go get bigger. In case you guys are wondering what kind of jig I'm using, uh, it's just basically kind of like a weedless uh, shaky head jig. And I'm combining it with these Kitek paddle tail swim baits. It's the uh, four inch easy shiner. They stink too. So I don't know if the scent has these fish turned on or what, but these guys are hammering it right now. Fish. Oh, Ooh. I did not mean to set the hook that hard. Whoops. Sorry, dude. I thought you, you hit it like you were way bigger. Yeah, I cranked him. He's good though. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guy. He hit it like he was a freaking two pounder. I'm only imagining what went through that fish's mind. There's another fish. Nah, so, okay. He's another little guy, but, oh, he's not bad. You know, he's the same size as the other ones. I was beginning to think the bite turned off. No, just another little guy. But I was beginning to think the bite turned off because I literally just did an entire lap around the lake and didn't get a single bite the whole time. Dang, they tear these swim baits up quick until I came back to these lily pads. So maybe, I'm just starting to think they're only around these pads. Maybe there's it's colder water there because the fountain is like pushing the water or something. There's obviously some kind of science behind it.